BTS! <laughs> BTS, guys! You guys happy? Begged! I hate you guys! <laughs> You're so cruel! <laughs> Unusual. unusual, very unusual. You're a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you are. Did Neil Patrick Harris remake series of unfortunate events on Netflix or something? Oh yeah, on Netflix. It's yeah. good. It's pretty faithful to the the book series. Oh yeah, OG, OG, Danny B, OG. I OG. can't get any lower. OG. <laughs> oh, you're bowing. I have to bow at y'all now. No. No. no don't. <laughs> don't you bow. Don't you, I'm doing you it. bow. Just ascend. Just ascend. Just like ascend. We <laughs> are but worms. We are worms. But, uh, yeah, we are worms. He won't get that reference. He won't watch it. <laughs> what didn't I watch? Really? Wait, did you watch Hercules? No. <laughs> Man. Dude, I haven't, watched a sing- I haven't watched a single Disney movie in my life. I ain't never seen none of them. <laughs> Y'all were watching... Like Aladdin, I was watching Lethal Weapon 2. Yeah. This is the most beautiful moment in my life, which is not this album. It was the last <laughs> album. We got awesome noob and OG, and we all in this. We all in this. We Let's are go. in this. We are in this. Chris. Listen to some Bangton boys. So you you heard this right? You were yeah. This. Yeah. Freshman year of high school. This came out in 2015. Oh dang. Yeah. So young that you were a freshman in 2015. I remember you thought I was like 25 years old. <laughs> so people said yeah, that. Yeah, people, yeah. People, I'm, you know, I'm 30. I'm, I'm 30 in the eyes of people. Y'all seem Which, older. You, 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 you carry yourselves carry almost yourself. older. Called a uh, intro. Asian symbols. <laughs> Asian symbols. Wait, let's actually find out. Okay, it's um. The song, it's the intro to the album title. It's it's just the album title. Strings. This is nice. Hey, this beat sounds like a basketball. This uh, this piece came with like an animation, and it takes place on a basketball court. Okay. High school music. <laughs> Sugar, do that sugar flow. Yeah, it does. It does have a Gambino like camp era, yes. like 2011 era childish Gambino rap flow to it. Blue black girls, cause man, fuck it, I'll do either. I love pussy, I love bitches, dude. I should be running Peter and Adidas with some short shorts. Now all of his Gambino too, <laughs> because you said that. I just see Donald Glover's face. Strings, wow. This is tight. Out of the K-pop groups, I gotta say, production on BTS's music is oh, yeah. way yeah. above I everyone else's. Say. Their producers are insane. Yeah, yes. Don't they do a lot of production themselves? They do. I know. I th- I think the the two like rapper guys are also they produce Monster. Is his name Rap still Monster. Rap Monster? I keep hearing that if he changed his name R. to R. RM, but I'm not sure. He cha- he went from Rap Monster to RM, so no one will call him Rap Monster I, anymore. I, I will do it on purpose. <laughs> That's like me being like, I'm not awesome anymore. I'm just aws. Call me new. His real name like Namjoon or something? Namjoon? Yeah, Namjoon. Yeah. This was a good intro. I li- really like the piano, and I like like the basketball was like playing into the beat. This, this was a very solid opening. It brought me into, yes, I'm listening to BTS. This is, this is TS. This was like, I think BTS is strong, like one of their strongest sides. Like when it comes to a rap oh, yeah. track, it's like this type of rap music. Breakers has a song called Fake Love. They do? Did we? Yeah, react? hold up, I have it. You can do that song. This song was a, this song was a solid intro. It was I'll a solid it intro. Yeah. They brought their best. I need you. I'm pretty sure we heard I need you. This beat goes hard. Oh yeah. The chorus. I did not like the beat on the chorus though. Oh yeah! This is bringing flashbacks to my old face. Bitch, when it did the transition. Yeah. 
Sorry, this is unrelated, but I just read a post saying that Supernatural is basically fan fiction of the Bible. <laughs> so is all of 19th century literature. No, the vocals are fine. It's through the beat. I just feel like the chain smokers are gonna pop in at any moment. Yeah. I just feel like the vocals are better here than on the newer songs we've heard. Maybe because we were really searching for those new songs. I don't mess with this chorus though. This beat. I, yeah. Like, uh, do you think this beat will be, will feel outdated? Oh yeah, give this beat five years and it's outdated. Well, it already it's already been almost five years. Like it's, it's, it's already the, feeling like that. Doesn't but it feel do you outdated think already? <laughs> going into the new decade. I feel like I've heard oh, BTS man. use that exact beat several times. Also, you just know that Flo Rida would be in that beat. <laughs> featured in that song. I liked parts of this song. <laughs> I think people who were who loved that era of music oh, yeah. are gonna be like, best song ever. I think people who were 13 <laughs> five years ago will really like that song. The one thing is is that they made this work though. Vocally though yeah. the song stands out. I feel like a lot of times BGS it sounds like they can phone it in with the vocals. Like they're just like let's mm -hmm. provide some really light airy vocals and let's mm -hmm. like call it a day. But it sounded like they were really trying hard. Like, I need you get Like, they were going in on it, you know? Yeah. This was the era of BTS that I remember being like, it was, this album was like oh, intense. Lore. Because there was lore. There was lore to this album, and there was lore to the album that followed it. It was like a whole saga. There was an arc. It was strange, and there were so many fan theories. It oh, hurt dang. my head. It gave me a headache. And, and then now like just generic. Yeah. But actually but like from that <laughs> a, there there's a webtoon that about this exact character arc uh, thing. Wow. I don't Yeah. I haven't Are read we it. ever gonna get around to No. Figure this out? No. no. <laughs> this is odd. It sounds like it would probably be better than <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh, the, oh my gosh! This sounds like it could be a, a little ba a Bow Wow song. Oh, I, I do see that. I think Bow Wow had a big impact on Japanese culture because yeah. Tokyo Drift. You had to go there. Oh snap! Oh snap, dude! Can you trust me? Can you trust me? I can trust you. This is like when BTS is rapping and they're in a car and the window was up. I, all I hear is Bow Wow on this track when I hear it. Yeah. I know the BTS fan base did not listen to Bow Wow back in the day, but if you listen to Bow Wow in like 2000 and I want to say 8, don't go to five, eleven. Five to eight. Five to this eight. This is how he. This is how his music sounds. This album has been a solid album. Yes, this was a solid. So far, yes. Is it me or is BTS degrading? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> because Ooh. I'm set. I'm just. Set. Don't be breaking their hearts. Don't go breaking my heart. Globally friendly. Globally friendly. Like, I could mm -hmm. like say yes. Becoming more like. Washed. They're more pop hmm. now. I'm just saying, dude. I heard Dionysus, and I heard Boy with Love, and I heard Fake Love, and it all sounded blinked. So, but this, I will remember this song. Hmm. Oh yeah. Like this is a solid uh, pop uh, pop song. What do you think of this, Young God? <laughs> yeah. I forgot the song existed, but I'm glad I know it now because yeah I for, I, I'm sorry I've lost all words I forgot how to speak uh, uh, it's a good song yeah it's nice are Forgo we bringing I, Danny back sort to of the, yeah to the K-pop fandom are we I, mean, I mean probably not but I probably will go back and listen to like all the old stuff again I can't get into the new K-pop stuff.
I've tried. I think this whole like obsessive BTS fandom, like, I think they're at their peak right now, and I think they're gonna drop. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying soon, but you know, I think I don't yeah. think they're gonna get any higher than they are right now. Like they've gotten too much too fast. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You think it's been too fast? I think I think it's been progressive. And they're at their peak right now. I'm, I'm not talking about their music. I'm talking about their fan base. They're, I'm talking about how they're... I, I, I think they're like at the point right now where they can't go any higher. Well, well, yeah. we've seen people and, you know, they lasted for one year and then would just drop. This is... This is this fan base has grown. Yeah, like, I don't see this, this obsessive yeah. fan base that they have. I don't see this fan base holding on to them for, like, 20 years. Will BTS be the next queen? The wings of... They're just too close to the sun, you know? The wings of Icarus, you're yeah. saying. <laughs> they're too close. they too close to the sun. BTS, from their debut, they've always had, like, a steady growth. Like, I remember when um, they released Dope as a music video, and I thought that was, like, the most views they'd ever gotten. It was in They got, like, 6 million views in the first 24 hours, and I was like, damn, they're... They're, they're getting big. I... I and then when Blood, Sweat, and Tears came around, song is all over. You right? know, you know when kids pop the song after you, you got too big. <laughs> it's a song called "It's Skit Expectation." Yeah, this isn't a song. They're just talking. Uh, I can look up a translation. I don't even care what they're saying. <laughs> yes. Okay, so here's what they're saying. Do you think we can reach number one? Well, not getting caught up in being number one or whatever. I really like the album itself. The album was good. I like the song. I can't be satisfied by the album now. We have to get number one. Yeah. Hey, but don't have expectations. No, but I end up having expectations. Me, me too. As for me, I don't know what to think. I think it's before. Really, I'm scared that we expect something and get nothing. Actually, the funny thing is that the songs that I didn't expect anything from got big. I'm again, watching an English well, dub, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it's impossible for me not to get a f because we had that image at first and it's kind of had a good response. Yeah, it got a good image, so I was hopeful. So you had big expectations, <laughs> but it kind of, it totally. I didn't expect anything for Boy in Love because you wrote outro, you're gonna get some profit. You're so young and you're already, you 19 year old, you're already, you're, oh, this song's starting. Yeah, they talk about taxes for a while. <laughs> Is the man really getting them? Is them Korean taxes hitting high? <laughs> This was my favorite song for the longest time. Here it again. Like I said, like with a lot of these songs, the verses were good. Yeah. But when that chorus hit, it knocked us off. Uh, I've seen so many kids' movies where the, there's a chase scene in it, so a beat like this plays in the back. <laughs> oh no, the you have to get is drop the saxophone. Oh, it is saxophone. That's what it is. This is tight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I liked parts of this song. Parts of this song. <laughs> <laughs> I just really am not a fan of really of choruses that sound like that. Like dun dun dun, like like very like dun 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 dun. The clap build yeah. up. Like I'm it's not. A, it's a that. formula that got overused too quickly. I gotta say, this was probably my favorite BTS song for the longest time. I I never really loved the chorus, but the verses are just oh. so good. Yeah. Oh, it's energetic. Like I could mm -hmm. I could see people bouncing on walls. That rap verse went hard. That yes. rap verse went hard, no lie. But that chorus, I I hate I. I can see the. Just, if you want, like a sound that I don't like is that's the sound. That is the sound of music I don't like, is the sound of that <laughs> chorus. So just from the fact that it's been overused and the formula is kind of. It just feels soulless to me. It's like you want something that'll get the crowd hype, like, like it's just nothing. Like in my opinion, like. Blood on the dance floor choruses were better. I mean, as far as like emotion, <laughs> like real emotion. Yeah. I'd rather blood Hon on the dance floor. Honestly, 
Yeah, I can see that, but there's like this there's things that are similar with this. The closest you get to a similar lyric in this song in the pre chorus, they're saying, I work all day, every day, and you're out there at the club. Then blood on the dance floor is at that club. <laughs> Trying to find some fourteen year olds. <laughs> Let's go nice to get to this next song. Wait, is this called Converse? No. No, 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 no. This song is, oh, um, no. Boys With Fun. Okay. I can get it, man. Yeah. It has an old school hip hop vibe. Like, you know, I can imagine some black ladies dancing to this, you know? <laughs> like electric sliding. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Can't you imagine? I can like, imagine my mom just. What this song, baby? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. They really are having fun with this track. I'm worried about when the chorus hits. There's no obnoxious drop. We good. Oh yeah, you you know this was at the dance. People be getting on the dance floor. You know, this is this album. It makes me miss BTS. Honestly, I loved this album. But you, why don't you put on some fake love? God no. In jail. God no. Why not play like this would be in the Scooby Doo movie? <laughs> I don't know why the image of of the live action Scooby Doo just appeared in my mind you know it would it would it'd be in, a, <laughs> you it'd, it'd be it in that garfield sequel when he's in london <laughs> you think if alvin and the chipmunks came out today oh yes they would be bts <laughs> they would be this song got a funk to it though, don't it it does they they brought out their best qualities like uh R rm and mm -hmm. jimin and uh sugar all together. You mean J Hope? J Hope? Talk about the rappers. J Hope had fun yeah, on this I could, track. I could oh forgot J Hope. J Hope thought, is the rapper. Yeah, I know J Hope. Jimin is a singer. The one Jimin, who the really yeah. high The fact that I know the. <laughs> yeah, you know. The fact that I know the n names of these people and I hate them the most. So <laughs> <laughs> this song was a bop. I felt I was watching Scooby Doo. Was this an OG Danny Bop? Oh yeah, definitely. I loved that song. Converse High. Oh, this one's cute. This guitar. Oh, this would be nice on the radio. Converse High. Converse High. Oh, this is bringing back to you. And sing stuff, man. So this song is called Converse High. Mm -hmm. talking about like shoes? Yeah, the whole song is about shoes. When the song has a clap like this, I can just imagine a little rapping on the beat. It's like that. <laughs> I'm about to go all night, man. Oh, easy on the track. With the... That song, that song was a. It was. It wasn't a standout, but it was like okay. It's cute. This is something. I gotta say. This BT, when I listen to this, this has like a flavor to it. This has like a, like a sound. Yeah, you about yeah. to drop something that but people don't want to hear. Is BTS degrading? Is what, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. It, because like I listen to like, those those new tracks, are not sounding. It sound like this song just sounds like they're having fun. It sounds like mm -hmm. this is what they wanted to make, you know, but yeah. like. You know, this new music, it, I'm like, there's no love in this. Their new stuff sounds more like that generic K-pop sound, and this is, this right here is not that. It's here. Yeah. It sounds top-notch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I could distinctly know that this is BTS. They definitely you know seemed at their yeah, happiest like, when they were making these two albums, this first part and the second. Yeah, like, they sound alive. Like, they sound like they're having a party in the studio. Mm -hmm. 
I ain't trying to say nothing, but I'm saying something. You saying something <laughs> that's going to probably get, get you killed. <laughs> now this. This. This beat. Doesn't it sound like Kanye could have made this beat? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, this flow sounds like it could be Bow Wow. This album is a great, is a really good album, dude. I don't know what's up with those new tracks we've been hearing. It sounds like the soul is sucked out of this. I hate you so. I love you so. <laughs> I hate you so. J Hope has the most. I think J Hope rides the beat the best. Yeah. Out of any BTS members. Like, from everything we've heard, J Hope, like, he always is on, on beat really well. I don't know why, but this chorus gives me like drone shot over tropical island with like the really blue waters mm -hmm. thing. These vocals, they're actually doing vocal runs. And they're not just going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> they're the vocal runs, dude. You no, know, it's the weird thing. Like, we've been, we've been like going through so much of the new music that I think I started forgetting the names of the song, mixing up the names of each person because yeah. like it's gotten so generic. Can't tell any of the singing part. They're all <laughs> just airy, like angel babies to me. Yeah. Like, here, I can distinct, like, the different vocalists in this. What'd you think of this, young Switzel? I miss listening to all of these, like, older BTS albums a lot. I use, I remember just, like, loving them so much. And it was, like, this album that, like, made me love them. This was the very first album that came out when I was, like, getting like really into them this for me was their this and the album that came right after it the part two that's their peak for me how did they degrade bro how did they degrade I'm not sure. i don't even know i it may just be because like they're so famous now they're just tired they really just tired wow they may Did be they the may just like be so exhausted because they do they work too much oh yeah like they'd be like songs almost like they put out music more than future does dude it's like at this point they have so many fans that they want to please that they're i wouldn't say burning out but like they're not to me it seems like they're just like there's not the love that there is in this album that they're putting into their music. Do you think that they they are too afraid to make anything I'm interesting? Not sure. You know how that happens if they wanted to make something uniquely different. Are they afraid to fall? I'm sure they could they're afraid to they fall? could put out another album like this and everyone would be all about it, but I'm not oh, sure yeah. what's going on. It's nice though. What? What? Where is these vocals coming from? Oh. Jungkook. Oh. Oh, snap. I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Oh my. I'm gonna have to give them an applause for that. I was not expecting those vocals. Oh my. For, for once, I was like, what am I hearing? Whoa. I am freaking out. I mean, it's not, it's don't got the power that XO wields. No, but it, they, they brought out their best. Yeah. With this. I think the production, I enjoyed this more than the XO album. 
that we heard before. Oh yeah. As far as an overall production, no song is as good mm. as the song Universe. No. <laughs> no. I'm saying as the album, this is a better album than yeah. what we heard. They're really mm-hmm. talented people, man. I just wish they would make better music. I forgot how good this album was. It's been years since I've listened it, to it. It, it surprised me. It, it was nice. It feels good to listen to this and remember how I felt about this group. I give this... I give this... I give this a solid 8 out of 10. Oh yeah. I can see why BTS fans... I, I see clearly now why BTS fans love them the way they do. Because I never really understood it. I, I never really understood it until listening to this. Once it. again, thank you, thank Danny you. B. We we wouldn't have even <laughs> thought of this without your help. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. If you were here, we probably would have just spent a lot of our time roasting this just out of pure hatred. <laughs> but I tried, to, I tried to hold back those tan a little bit. You were coming strong at the beginning. Today. <laughs> you were like, yo. Reality is when your dreams come true. You never know what you're going to run into. Had them rotating, coming in by the tools. You stay down, girl, you stay so true. This one for you.